Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson one of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this question on your own before watching my explanation. All right, so to really ace this problem, we just need to remember that displacement is equal to the area under a velocity versus time graph. So here we have our velocity versus time graph. And if we want to figure out how far this car traveled, we basically want to figure out what the area is under this graph. Now it's specifically asking us for how far the car travels between 10 seconds and 15 seconds. So between right here and right here. And we need to find the area under the curve, or in other words, the area of this shape right here. Now looking at this, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a rectangle and I'm seeing a triangle. And that's not too bad because we know that basically for a rectangle, it's going to be the base times the height. That's our area. In other words, 15 minus 10, that's going to be five. And then five minus zero over here is also going to be five. So five times five, that means 25 is the area of this rectangle right here. Now to figure out this triangle again, not too bad. Remember the area of any triangle is one half base times height. And again, 15 minus 10, looks like we got a base right here that's five. Then we have 10 minus five. That means the height right here is five as well. So we have one half times five times five. In other words, the area of this triangle right here is going to be 12.5. To add them up, 12.5 plus 25, that's going to get us our final answer, 37.5. Now, something helpful here, if you're having a hard time, re hard time remembering that the, air, that the displacement is the area under the curve for the velocity uh, versus time graph, something that really helps me with physics problems is just remembering the units, right? So let's say, for example, the area of both of these, it's got a base and a height. Well, our base right here is going to be our x value, and that's in seconds. Our height is going to be our y value, and if it's velocity, that's in meters per second. So when I'm multiplying base times height, what I'm really saying is seconds times meters over seconds. The seconds cancel out, and that means my area, the unit will be meters. So kind of interesting, meters is the unit for distance, and that's exactly what we wanted. So that's another helpful way to figure it out if you can't remember it off the top of your head. Let's go ahead and check our answer, 37.5. Awesome, worked out great. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.